So, but let's let's quickly let's run through this today. We can talk about uh, Halo being an M-rated game. I wanted to show this to begin with is a uh, top M-rated games that should be T-rated today, and this was just a you know uh, like eight months ago, so still relatively new. Uh, to say this, like, I feel this is a thing, we hear it all the time, so I'm specifically gonna be talking about Halo more than anything, but Halo is one of those games that there's a lot of people who hated that Halo 5 was T-rated, but I'll be honest, like, I don't, nothing changed, right? Like, maybe they had one less swearing, but if you know Halo, which we'll get into in a second, like, it's not, the hot take Halo is and always has been T-rated. It's never been an M-rated game. And I'll, I'll explain my reasoning in a, in a second here. But, like, all armor abilities ranked. Oh, shit. So, older games, sure, do have a certain mature side to them, but not all of them are getting the rating they deserved. While there was some, some have blood and gore, it doesn't match up to M-rated games of stuff today, offer gruesome imagery that wasn't possible in early days of gaming. Yes. Take Halo Combat Evolved. Master Chief squares off against Covenant in a three battles a do match. It's hard to believe that games was M-rated. Yeah, here are some other titles. So, Halo 3 is what they say, and it's like, this really can really go to all the Halo games that are M-rated. It's unfair rating that has prevented some players from experiencing the franchise firsthand. Each game has the same type of gameplay and relaxed amounts of cursing, mainly focus on the occasional swear. The blood is something that is debatable considering the number of bloody games. Like, Call of Duty that has received T ratings over the year... It is surprising that these games get plastered with M rating that don't deserve it. Uh, I didn't hit the record button. That's fine. I'll just download this otherwise. So, which I want to show, this is COD 4. I, I, I didn't realize this was the old school Call of Duty 4. This came out the same year as Halo 3, and it was a T-rated game. I did not realize that. When I was making this argument, I actually thought Call of Duty was M rated. To be 100% real with you. So the fact that Call of Duty is rated T. Which I think Call of Duty is a worse offender than Halo. I think they do more swearing. There's a little less blood. But it is depicting realistic... Um, de de depicting realistic warfare. Whereas Halo is futuristic warfare against aliens. And that actually does make a difference. At least so I thought. Like... I don't know how the ESRB is, but I assumed that, like in real life, you can depict fake scenarios, future scenarios, and you can get away a lot more on TV if you're doing, like, cartoon and stuff like that. But as soon as you depict, like, real warfare, people, you know, U.S. troops invading other countries and shooting things and people and stuff, all of a sudden, it jacks the rating up. Uh, and you can't get away with as much as much as you normally could. I assume that was the same way with games. Which, again, COD is a realistic shooter. I mean, it's it's directly. And so, it's crazy to me. Crazy to me. That Call of Duty is not rated... Was not rated M back when Halo 3 was rated rated M. So, because I, I honestly think Call of Duty is a worse offender than, than Halo. Because, to talk about Halo... And there are other games on the list that I want to get to, but again, we are mostly, we're mostly focused on Halo. It is cartoon blood, and why it's cartoon blood is it is colored blood. Anything that is not depicting real blood, it's exactly what China does. China does not allow games, uh, what, oh shoot, what game was it? That, was it a Call of Duty game? Was it Call of Duty? No, no, no. I can't remember what game it was, but they don't allow the depiction of real blood, so typically, all the blood in games is ch changed to, like, a darker-looking blood color, and everyone is turned into robots because it's unrealistic. So even though everyone looks the exact same, it's just claimed that they're robots, and the blood pouring out of them is oil. That's how they get away with it in China. So the fact that this, like, blue and orange blood compared to red blood, which you only see from when Marines are shot, th that is considered mostly cartoon blood. The vi Like they said, there's... I think Johnson is the only one that swears in the game, and it's very lackluster swearing. He swears like three times, I think, in Halo 2 is the worst one. And he says, damn and hell. I don't think... There's no shit. There's no fuck. 
there's there's no yeah there's nothing beyond those for some reason those are the only five swear words i could think in my head right now there's no bitch there we go um very little swearing in halo and then the violence is the worst one but if you think halo is comparative the violence in halo is comparative to doom you're insane you're an insane person if you think it's the same violence. If Doom is the is has the same violence level as Halo does. You're shooting, but you are literally ripping people apart. The gore, it, like, there's no gore. There's no gore in Halo. You don't see bullet holes in enemies. You don't see arms getting... Well, actually, you do see arms getting blown off with the Flood, which I actually do believe counts. So, that is a mistake there. There is a very... There is a small amount of gore. I think I think they do consider the flood being blown into pieces as gore. So that actually might be a lie. I might be wrong there. But in some of the games, Halo 4 and 5 and uh, Reach, where there's no flood, there's not really any. Heck, disintegrations in, by Prometheans is technically better than dead bodies. So when Prometheans disintegrate and burst or whatever, it's technically better, I believe. So... Kind of zombies. Well, Call of Duty also blows people's legs off. I like. I don't know if they they still do that, but I remember COD Five. That was the thing. You took a bear, double bear shotgun, and you would literally blow people's legs off, and blood would be splurting out of their legs as they crawl away. Like that's way worse than what anything Halo has. Black Ops Two did it. Yeah, you could literally blow people's limbs off in some games. Gears of War. You think Halo is as bad as Gears of War? I don't even think. Nah, Gears of War Chainsaw is, like, the worst. But, like, you... That, like, the... I don't know how anyone can claim that Halo is the sa deserves the same rating as Gears of War, Doom, GTA, anything. All of those I, are way worse. Like, this is a T-rated game at the most, and it's a low-rated T game. Like, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it as close as to, like, E10 or whatever... I wouldn't be like, oh, it's an E10 and up game. You have to be 10 years older or whatever. Okay, is that the rating? Uh, I wouldn't put it there, but Halo, Halo's like smack in the middle, teen. It's not like, uh, it's on the line. It could be M. It could. Halo's not close to being an M game. So anyways, we got Elder Scrolls, which I think is true. I think there's a bit of gore. I mean, there's a little bit more blood. Um, I think you are able to chop people in pieces, but, and there's a little bit of swearing. But I think, we're, we're, as we go down this list, I think we're going to rate it as a worse than or better than Halo is what we'll use. And Call of Duty. I think Call of Duty is a really good standard of like, is it worse than Call of Duty? Maybe it deserves an M rating. Because if Call of Duty doesn't get an M rating, these games sure as hell don't. So, um, dude, yeah, they came out with a Halo Mega Bloks game. I really wanted them to come out with that. That like Lego Halo game that actually looked like a lot of fun. Elder Scrolls Oblivion, I think, is... I don't know. I think it's worse than Halo. Not by much. I think it's not as bad as Call of Duty, but worse than Halo. I think there's more more swearing. It was originally rated T, but got switched to M after they discovered a mod, a mod that could be implemented in PC that made the appear, females appear topless. Oh, so now they get thrown t nudity into it. All right. Fair enough, but that's modding. I don't I don't think you should rate your games by modding. I, I don't know. Whatever. I get Okay, sure. Interesting uh, decision there. But I think there's no real guns or anything in this. And I think guns are typically worse than, like, swords and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Mass Effect. Language. There is sex. Not really nudity. They don't really show the sex. It's implied sexual content, which does make a difference. Um, it's been up for debate on whether it deserves M rating. If Mass Effect doesn't get an M rating, it Halo definitely doesn't. <laughs> yeah, way worse than Halo. Got, there is basically the same amount of level. There is more swearing. It's about the same amount of level of blood and violence. There's shooting. There's blood. There's killing. Uh, I don't think you, there's not, I think there's about as much gore. I don't, I, don't, I haven't really played the Mass Effect games, but I don't think you're blowing people into pieces. Um, but on top of it, this also has, uh, sexual content. So, if this is around 
But yeah, I mean, it's true. It's not anything we've really not seen in PG-13 and on Netflix these days in TV shows. So lots of sexual content in those. Um, there's people disintegrating, but disintegrating is not as bad. Disintegrating is not considered lore. If they are disintegrating into just like vapor, that is actually better than gore. Um, because there's no dead bodies. That's the thing is like, if you can have dead bodies, it then goes, does the thing is like, okay, well then can you desecrate the dead bodies by like shooting them and moving them and stuff like that? It's actually worse. Uh, so disintegrating is technically better. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's be real. A lot of PG-13 shit these days. As a teen, you definitely see more. And, and again, it's also, it's all, all, do you see, you see a little bit of the nudity, right? I don't see, I don't, you, you don't, I, again, I haven't played Mass Effect, but I, that much, oh, hello. we're doing that in the middle uh, yeah you don't see the nudity yeah it's exactly it's all off screen which is exactly what tv shows and movies do and sometimes tv shows and movies do more you at least get to see the nice you get to see that nice ass shot you always want to see that nice ass shot but hey true thank you so much for the the gifted sub to bass you guys are both beautiful you guys are sexy i love you all thank you welcome back to the it's all right counter-strike same thing uh, is there any swearing? I don't think there's any language in this game. It's just shooting and a little bit of blood. I don't even know if there is blood. So, uh, definitely, definitely, like, less than Halo. So this is worse than Halo. This is worse than Halo. Uh, a lot, uh, I think, I like, this is a game that I would almost put on the edge of E10. I think the, the, <laughs> the thing that makes it a T game is you have to, you have to deal with, uh, because again... Old school Counter-Strike, when the guns look super bad. I think, like, Counter-Strike Go and stuff like that, I think the guns look a lot more realistic. So the war warfare looks a lot more realistic. Definitely not in E10. But, like, this level nowadays, I think, could get away with it. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, I think wor worse of, like, less, less of an offender than Halo. I think it's better than Halo. Devil May Cry 4. Mmm, this is an interesting... I don't think there's a lot of nudity, but it is alien creatures, which does come into it. There are some fairy-like creatures to simulate romantic love. Okay, so there's a little bit of that. Slight shots of a woman's body. Yeah, I know there's a lot of presumptuous stuff that's thrown in there. Um, demons and stuff. Again, shooting demons versus shooting humans is technically better as well. So this is an interesting one because there it, it is hack and slash. There's quite a bit of... There isn't really any blood. Oh, okay. And you're not really cutting limbs off. That's fair enough. I actually could see where this is a T-rated game because there's not a lot of blood. I don't know if I would put this worse than Halo. I, I don't actually know. I haven't I haven't seen enough. I, I guess I'd have to see the sexual content. But I don't think this is a... I don't... I honestly... Because there's no blood. I think you see blood splurts, but it doesn't go anywhere. So there's... I don't think there's any gore either. You're not cutting things in half. Um putting holes in things i don't think there's any of that so it's probably a little bit here and there but i think this is probably not as bad as halo this was the one that i was like i was like ah no it's got to be worse than halo but i actually think this is probably better than halo 99 nights definitely not an rated game this is a great game me and my brother played the crap out of this game you guys have this is one of those games that almost no one has ever heard of but if you've never played 99 Nights, it's a really good hack and slash game. It's a lot, yeah, it's a little more like Dynasty Warriors. You know that uh, that Zelda game that came, Hyrule War, is it Hyrule Warriors? I think, right? Because it was made by the Dynasty Warriors team. Uh, it's it's basically that. Uh, yeah, so those ones have gotten T-rated. There's no way. I don't think there's any languages. So if it weren't for some heavy story arcs, then this game would have been rated T. Interesting. Those heavy storylines and more media than ever before, much more lenient ratings. Hmm. I don't even remember the storylines. I don't think anyone played this for the... It had an okay story. But yeah, this was a really cool game. If you've never played... I, again, one of, those, one of those games, if you've never played 99 Nights, we'll go 
it's it's a game I would high, I would recommend. It's an it's a 360 game, man. It's an old school 360 game. It's a really good game. It's a really fun like just slash uh you know, you're killing like hundreds of enemies at once. Um oh, there's a little bit of blood. There you go. So, a little bit of blood, very cartoony blood, but uh yeah, dude, it it's a it's a really actually a really fun game. Um you know, it's like heavy combos, killing hundreds of enemies at once, that kind of thing. So it's fun. It's a good game. All right, let's see. Crackdown, worse than Halo. Easy. I mean, it is cartoony, and I think that's why it gets away with it a little bit more. It's, 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 a, it is a less violent GTA. It is killing cops and, and humans, though. The, there's a lot more language in this game, I believe. I'm not sure. If there's no language in this, then it won't be as bad as Halo. But I'm pretty sure there is a good amount of language. Um, there's not a lot of... There is blood. You can literally see it here. There's a, there's about as much blood as Halo has. Um, but it is killing humans and is depicting a, violent, a lot more violence. Um, I think it's about the same level as Halo, probably. Uh, only because it gets away with the more cartoony look. Crackdown looks it has it's cell shaded and has that artistic style that allows it gives it a little more leniency. So, Arkham Knight, this was an interesting one that I'll be honest, I don't know how Arkham Knight was rated M. So all the others were rated T. I was like, there's no way Batman was not rated T, but uh, apparently Arkham Knight was rated M, and I didn't realize that. I f I freaking love this series, man. I really should replay this entire series. This series is so good. It's so good. This is a top tier, top tier series, but um there is a lot. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, like Zaz and stuff. So there's some there's some definitely I think that what they say some suggestive themes are present, but I don't think Arkham Knight I don't know how Arkham Knight was rated M when the others were rated T. I think all of them dealt with kind of the same stuff, so weird. Along the lines of the other games. The only difference is the two Joker torture scenes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess they have the, the Jason Todd scenes. Eh, I don't know how that honestly makes it worse, but that's fine. Um, Dark Souls, blood and gore. Not really that much gore. I, you do see some blood splatters. I think there is, like, you literally do cut off the arms and stuff of some creatures, and it's there, but it's all... It's a little bit there, but uh, there's a lot. There's a bit more blood, I think, in general. But once again, no language, no nudity. Well, I guess you can go shirtless, right? You get like you can go where you just chested men and you know, bra or whatever. I think you do. Uh, it does do a little bit, but I guess Dark Souls is rated M. Oh, Dark Souls Two got a T rating. There you go. There you have it. So yeah, Dark Souls One again times change i think that's the biggest thing is over time that rating for m has come higher because now there's a bigger there's a wider pit of games or a lighter a wider scale of games there's a lot more games that are out so now you can scale it accordingly to like is halo as bad as gta or doom or elder scrolls no okay so it should be below it where do we put those games according to the rest and you can kind of rank them a little better so fair enough dark souls one came out a long time ago where games were rated m very easily and they don't they don't deserve it so but uh this one this game didn't come out that long ago right when did this game come out oh this is 2013 oh never mind i'll be honest I th didn't they come out with an ace attorney game not that long ago i don't remember are they coming out with a new one that i'm not how how is this M rated? Fifth installment is up for debate on its M rating. Since it doesn't offer much of swearing, there's no sexual content. There might be a bit of blood in the murder scenes, but no gore happened rather than just bloody weapons. What? I think there's a little swearing, but this game is definitely tamer than Halo. I'll say that much. I don't think I said. I think this is higher blood level than Halo, but I think it's tamer than Halo. This is definitely tamer than Halo. But this is tamer than all of them. This is like an E10 game. This is definitely an E10 game. So. 
But, uh, yeah. Well, that's this part of the vid. I'll actually do some more where we're talking, um, where we're talking about the actual Halo being an M-rated game. So, I don't know. I think this might go in the middle of the video, so it might sound a little disconnected. But that's just this part. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video, I guess, for you YouTube people. The people watching the stream, 